with you I can be sad with you Can you imagine living in a city? Uh, no. No, I couldn't either. <laughs> no, I'd miss all this. I'm freezing. I'm Smithy, this is a con ticket and we really are going out there to do the question and answer session. And I met some nice people today. Let's get out there. Let's scrape a bit of ice off the seat, look at that. Morning, Caton, anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, my uncle and auntie have just moved to Caton. Right. And uh, they love it, yeah. Got a little bungalow, out the way, an end one. Nice corner plot. I think I'm going to get wet on this bench. <laughs> Oh. See you pal, nice to speak to you. A little fact for you. It would take 20 million years to fill Morecambe Bay from a bathtub. I've had to get the old glasses. Good job I have got spare glasses in this pocket when I go shopping. So, let's get some questions answered. And thank you for the questions. We haven't got many this time, but any, they're all appreciated. I hope you appreciate Lancashire. How good is Lancashire? How good is how much the car park is? Yeah, <laughs> there you are. Eh? How good is Lancashire? What is your note to 60 time? Dave Smith. Note to 60, about a week. I don't think I've been 60 in the van to be fair. I, I probably have, but yeah, 60 is about the maximum. But uh, it's a 2.8 turbo diesel. But it, it, uh, I don't put my foot down at all. I do in the wife's car. Just don't tell her. <laughs> there again. Right, let's have a look at this. Uh, what are we on? Karen Whiteman. What are you and Susie planning for Christmas? Well, we're still looking after my mother and my mother-in-law. And uh, so probably my mother might be going to my sister's Christmas day. She usually does, so we'll see. I know I'm, I'm hoping we're going to our middle lads uh, for Christmas dinner and boxing dinner. Uh, when do you plan to go away in the Contiki next? Well, it's funny you say that because we've got to pick the grandson up. He's in the army and uh, he messaged me and said, look, we've got to go out in that van overnight, have a beer, and his dad wants to come with us. So that's what we're planning to do. Hello. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> Hello. I've got two, two hours. <laughs> yeah. I'm just doing a bit of filming. I've now got a doggy in picture. Where is the first place you'd like to go in the Contiki when we're free to travel anywhere? Crafty Caravanners. I love Scotland mate, I always have. I mean you can see where I live, I don't live far from Caton. This is Caton by the way, it's still Lancashire. Uh, but what do I live, seven miles from here? Uh, it's, this is like home to me. It's what my school looked like, it was like, you know, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's the middle of Scotland to do me, in the middle of nowhere. I hate cities, I can't stand them, I don't like towns either. This is what I like. I don't mean that in a bad way, if you're sat in a city in a flat and on your own or whatever, you know. Fair play to you for putting up with it, but uh, this is what I like. Being out. Now then, Alan. Alan Anderson. What a question. Do you... S and four stars in the van. So I take it you're thinking about a number two. I try not to do a number two. Uh, we try and use or park up near where there's a public toilet or use a public toilet if we will or a supermarket toilet on a car park. You know, uh, there's another question that relates to this but um, that's the way we try and do it that, you know, uh, we, we just try and use it for peeing in and that's it. Uh, we've always done that. We've owned it. Well, we've had the Contiki now over two years. We, that's the way we've always got, done it. There's always a toilet somewhere, there's always, you know, somewhere you can go, a supermarket, a pub. Well, there was. <laughs> uh, uh, Helen and Jeff on the road. Hi Simon, when did you change from a caravan, why did you change from caravan to motorhome? Will you still be going away in the caravan? I don't think we are going to go away in the caravan, to be fair. I, I, I keep it, I want to because Sue wants to keep it, but we keep it because... All three of my lads have passed the test and I always thought, well, you know, one of them could have it or, or take it away, but they've got to pass a test now for a caravan. The reason we got a motorhome from a caravan, I was going to buy a canal boat, to be, to, to be fair, and, uh, you know, I, I thought, well, if I do get a, a canal boat, I've got to park my car there and I'm driving off and then Sue's going to meet me and we're going to do two different places, so we got the motorhome. But... Uh, 
Yeah, so what we're going away in the caravan. Plus you've got to pay to park. I don't have to pay in the van, I can park anywhere. With solar panels on the roof, we've got that safe fill gas that's free. Well, it's not free, but it's, what, what is it, £7 a, for a huge bottle? <laughs> that's a big dog. <laughs> Uh, we've got a question from Neil Whittaker. Would you live in your van full time or have you got plans plans to in the future? Uh, if it was a choice between renting a house and renting a flat and living in my van, I'd live in my van. Six, seven, eight hundred pounds a month, I wouldn't live in a flat or a house, I'd renting it anyway. Uh, but no, in the future, we'll just still be travelling in the van. We, we won't be living in it full time, we've no plans for that, but we'd just tour, you know. If, if push come to shove and I had to do, I would, I would live in it, you know, there's like today, if, if I could. Come on, you all right? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It, it, adds to, it, it adds to the scenery. Yeah. I feel like we should like wave or something. <laughs> well, you can, feel free. <laughs> yeah. no, it's one of the best views though, isn't it? Oh, you know, that's why I came here. Yeah, amazing. Show everybody else what Lancashire looks like. I, in time's gone past, yeah. Oh, I, I live local anyway, but... Oh, dear, yeah. I love it up there. Yeah, I do, yeah. They're not working today, though. No wind. I know, I want to see you talking about the shadow thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Anderson. Do you travel with the gas on? Fridge. I don't know. I don't, I, we don't have the gas on at all. Um, I, I don't know if you watched a few of my videos. I was a recovery driver years ago. And I've seen the state of some of the vehicles I used to collect that were upside down, sideways, and all kinds of stuff. So, no chance. Uh, petrol's bad enough in a, in a car, it's like a bomb. And I've seen some sites being a recovery driver, so no, I wouldn't travel. Gas is turned off all the time unless I'm going to use it. Popular with dog walkers. <laughs> uh, Ian Lindsay, hi Simon, question for you. I've been watching the French's Motorhome channel and I've noticed he has corner steadies. Well, I've obviously got corner steadies on my, my caravan. I've looked at other motorhomes and it appears some do, but most don't. This is an eye-opener for me. Do you think it's just longer motorhomes that use them? I've never noticed it before. Do you know anything about it? Uh, hope you can use this in your questions. If not, don't worry, Ian and Angie. Uh, I'm not sure, buddy. I've, um, nose is running. It is cold. Uh, yeah, I've got them on my caravan. I don't have them on my van. I've never thought about getting them on my van. Uh, I, I think the ones you're talking about might be automatic, uh, automatic levelling in your van. Uh, but when we walk around in our van, it doesn't really move. Um, you know, it's 22 foot long and 8 foot wide, so it's you know it's a it's a big motorhome. But it's not something I would look into. I'm not really bothered. I've, we've been around touring it and never, you know. But yeah. I, I don't know if it could be the bigger motor, or just any, really. Or, or, you know, the size of mine. Uh, you never know. <laughs> Keith Winwood, Do you use a waste hog or let it all out? I had to look up waste hog because I didn't know what you were talking about. But uh, I do now. You alright? <laughs> so, it's the waste water. So, if we're, you know, on a site, yeah, you use the, you use the, uh, the, the barrel that's, that comes with the van. It's like a, you know, is it a five gallon tub that lies on its side with the lid comes off in the middle and you, your tube goes down there. But the toilet one always gets emptied either in a toilet when we're touring or on a site. You can pay a couple of quid on a caravan park to empty that. Uh, but as far as water, if I'm wild camping somewhere, and I, you know, it's, if it's chucking it down at night and it's dark and there's nobody around, I'll let it go on straight because it's, it's just, I've said it before, it's either shower water, if you're having a shower, or it's what you've washed up with. So there's nothing in it, you know, we, we scrape the plates anyway, so it's, it's just, if you can park over a grid, great, let it out in the grid. Uh, I don't have a problem with that, and if anybody else has, that's their problem, I, I don't have a problem, I've done it many times. It's not making a mess, it's not causing any problems to anybody. And the stuff that's going down the drain on a road, it's, it's contaminated, obviously, with oil from the road. Now then, Alex, um, Alex Thurston. He's got a YouTube channel, TTXELA2. 
I can't remember if this has been dealt with before. I'm wondering what motivated you to start a YouTube channel and if you have a, an end result in mind or are you just enjoying the ride and see where it takes you? You've answered the question yourself. I'm just seeing where it takes me. The reason I started it is because the grandkids, I don't see them all the time because obviously they're busy, they're growing up, they're playing on Xboxes and not whatever they're doing. Are you back again? Aye. Yeah. You get your pictures? Yeah, yeah. Good. I'm doing a video. Oh, right. No, you're right. No, you're fine. It's all right. I'm just answering some questions. Right. <laughs> nice yeah. to talk to you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. See you, pal. Um, yeah, so that was the reason why I started it. I wanted the grandkids to be able to see what Grandad was doing and Nana. Although Nana's not as keen as me to be on video, but I don't care now. And to talk in front of people like this, when I first started, no chance, I couldn't do it. I still get a little bit rattled now, now and again, but it's getting easier, I just don't care anymore. Um, you know, I've been doing it nearly two years, I suppose, so I am enjoying it, that's the thing. When I don't enjoy it, I'll stop doing it, but I'm, I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying taking you lot on the ride with me. And 1,400 odd subscribers for a lunatic like me, it's, you know, anyway. There you go. Uh, well, that's it, we're at the end. I hope you're liking Anthony's van build. Uh, we'll be seeing more of that shortly. I told you it was short and sweet, we didn't have that many questions this week. It's actually the 1st of December today, so... Uh, That's how my dogs walk, pulling me all the time. <laughs> she just wants to be off, bless her. They do, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm terribly, but at least you've got some right there. <coughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Lovely. You can't beat that view, can you? Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. One of the best ones. I've brought everybody on YouTube out with me. Oh, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're getting in your way, then, aren't we? That's all right, I don't mind. Can you imagine living in a flat in a city and you put YouTube on and you see a guy talking with that in, his, in the background? Fantastic. Yeah. And free parking as well. You've got to pay for parking. Oh. There's a bag over the machine. It says, uh, no parking charges, care of Lancashire County Council. Oh, brilliant. I love, Lan I love Lancashire. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the view. I've got a wet bum. I'm Smithy. That's Lancashire. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a, a short question and answer session. We're going to follow Anthony's van build uh, as well, so that, that's uh, coming up. We've got some cooking videos. I want some outdoor cooking as well, that's what I need. Anyway, from me from here, stay safe, be lucky, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>